Organ, Wikipedia article audio. In music, the organ is a keyboard instrument of one or more pipe divisions or other means for producing tones, each played with its own keyboard, played either with the hands on a keyboard or with the feet using pedals. The organ is a relatively old musical instrument, dating from the time of Tisabias of Alexandria, who invented the water organ. It was played throughout the ancient Greek and ancient Roman world, particularly during races and games. During the early medieval period it spread from the Byzantine Empire, where it continued to be used in secular and imperial court music, to Western Europe where it gradually assumed a prominent place in the liturgy of the Catholic Church. Subsequently it re-emerged as a secular and recital instrument in the classical music tradition. Overview Pipe organs Church organs Chamber organs Theater organs Other pipe organs Reed organs Chord organs Electronic organs Hammond organs Allen organs Other electronic organs Digital organs Steam organ Organ music Classical music Soap operas Rock music Sporting organs National Hockey League Jazz Historical instruments Predecessors Early organs Medieval organs Various instruments Pipe organs use air moving through pipes to produce sounds. Since the 16th century, Pipe organs have used various materials for pipes, which can vary widely in timber and volume. The pipes are divided into ranks and controlled by the use of hand stops and combination pistons. Although the keyboard is not expressive as on a piano and does not affect dynamics, some divisions may be enclosed in a swell box, allowing the dynamics to be controlled by shutters. Some organs are totally enclosed, meaning that all the divisions can be controlled by one set of shutters. Some special registers with free reed pipes are expressive. These instruments vary greatly in size, ranging from a cubic yard to a height reaching five floors, and are built in churches, synagogues, concert halls, and homes. Small organs are called positive or portative. Increasingly hybrid organs are appearing in which pipes are augmented with electronic additions. Great economies of space and cost are possible especially when the lowest of the pipes can be replaced. Read Organs 2 Squeeze Boxes Non-piped organs include the reed organ or harmonium, which like the accordion and harmonica use air to excite free reeds. Mechanical organs Electric Electronic organs or digital organs, notably the Hammond organ, generate electronically produced sound through one or more loudspeakers. Mechanical organs include the barrel organ, water organ, and orchestrion. These are controlled by mechanical means such as pinned barrels or book music. Little barrel organs dispense with the hands of an organist and bigger organs are powered in most cases by an organ grinder or today by other means such as an electric motor. The pipe organ is the grandest musical instrument in size and scope. It has existed in its current form since the 14th century, though similar designs were common in the eastern Mediterranean from the early Byzantine period and precursors such as the hydraulic organ, have been found dating to the late Hellenistic period. Along with the clock, it was considered one of the most complex human-made mechanical creations before the Industrial Revolution.
Pipe organs range in size from a single short keyboard to huge instruments with over 10,000 pipes. A large modern organ typically has three or four keyboards with five octaves each, and a two and a half octave pedal board. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart called the organ the king of instruments. Some of the biggest instruments have 64-foot pipes, and it sounds to an 8 Hz frequency fundamental tone. Perhaps the most distinctive feature is the ability to range from the slightest sound to the most powerful, plinju impressive sonic discharge, which can be sustained in time indefinitely by the organist. For instance, the Wanamaker organ, located in Philadelphia, USA, has sonic resources comparable with three simultaneous symphony orchestras. Another interesting feature lies in its intrinsic polyphony approach, each set of pipes can be played simultaneously with others, and the sounds mixed and interspersed in the environment, not in the instrument itself. Most organs in Europe, the Americas, and Australasia can be found in Christian churches. The introduction of church organs is traditionally attributed to Pope Vitalian in the 7th century. Due to its simultaneous ability to provide a musical foundation below the vocal register, support in the vocal register, and increased brightness above the vocal register, the organ is ideally suited to accompany human voices, whether a congregation, a choir, or a cantor or soloist. Most services also include solo organ repertoire for independent performance rather than by way of accompaniment, often as a prelude at the beginning of the service and a postlude at the conclusion of the service. Today this organ may be a pipe organ, a digital or electronic organ that generates the sound with digital signal processing chips, or a combination of pipes and electronics. It may be called a church organ or classical organ to differentiate it from the theater organ, which is a different style of instrument. However, as classical organ repertoire was developed for the pipe organ and in turn influenced its development, the line between a church and a concert organ became harder to draw. Organs are also used to give recital concerts, called organ recitals. In the early 20th century, symphonic organs flourished in secular venues in the United States and the United Kingdom, designed to replace symphony orchestras by playing transcriptions of orchestral pieces. Symphonic and orchestral organs largely fell out of favor as the Orgel Bewegung took hold in the middle of the 20th century, and organ builders began to look to historical models for inspiration in constructing new instruments. Today, modern builders construct organs in a variety of styles for both secular and sacred applications. A chamber organ is a small pipe organ, often with only one manual, and sometimes without separate pedal pipes that is placed in a small room that this diminutive organ can fill with sound. It is often confined to chamber organ repertoire, as often the organs have too few voice capabilities to rival the grand pipe organs in the performance of the classics. The sound and touch are unique to the instrument, sounding nothing like a large organ with few stops drawn out, but rather much more intimate. They are usually tracker instruments, although the modern builders are often building electro-pneumatic chamber organs. Pre-Beethoven keyboard music may usually be as easily played on a chamber organ as on a piano or harpsichord, and a chamber organ is sometimes preferable to a harpsichord for continuo playing as it is more suitable for producing a sustained tone. The theater organ or cinema organ was designed to accompany silent movies. Like a symphonic organ, it is made to replace an orchestra. However, it includes many more gadgets, such as percussion and special effects, to provide a more complete array of options to the theater organist. 
theater organs tend not to take nearly as much space as standard organs, relying on extension and higher wind pressures to produce a greater variety of tone and larger volume of sound from fewer pipes. This extension is called unification, meaning that instead of one pipe for each key at all pitches, the higher octaves of pitch are achieved by merely adding 12 pipes to the top end slash or bottom of a given division. Assuming there are 61 keys on an organ manual, a classical organ has four diapason stops at 8, 4, and 2 pitch 183 pipes. The same chorus of diapasons on a theater organ has only 85 pipes. Some ranks, such as the tibia clausa, with up to 97 pipes, allow the organist to draw stops at 16, 8, 4, 2, and mutations from a single rank of pipes. Unification gives a smaller instrument the capability of a much larger one, and works well for monophonic styles of playing. The sound is, however, thicker and more homogeneous than a classically designed organ, and is very often reliant on the use of tremolant, which has a depth greater than that usually found on a classical organ. Unification also allows pipe ranks to be played from more than one manual and the pedals. The bamboo organ called Bamboo So Sonoro is an experimental custom-made instrument designed by Hans van Kolwijk. The instrument has 100 flutes made of bamboo. The pump organ, or harmonium, was the other main type of organ before the development of electronic organs. It generated its sounds using reeds similar to those of a piano accordion. Smaller, cheaper, and more portable than the corresponding pipe instrument, these were widely used in smaller churches and in private homes, but their volume and tonal range was extremely limited and they were generally limited to one or two manuals, pedal boards being extremely rare. The chord organ was invented by Lawrence Hammond in 1950. It provided chord buttons for the left hand, similar to an accordion. Other reed organ manufacturers have also produced chord organs, most notably Magnus from 1958 to the late 1970s. Since the 1930s, pipeless electric instruments have been available to produce similar sounds and perform similar roles to pipe organs. Many of these have been bought both by houses of worship and other potential pipe organ customers, and also by many musicians both professional and amateur for whom a pipe organ would not be a possibility. Far smaller and cheaper to buy than a corresponding pipe instrument, and in many cases portable, they have taken organ music into private homes and into dance bands and other new environments, and have almost completely replaced the reed organ. The Hammond organ was the first successful electric organ, released in the 1930s. It used mechanical, rotating tone wheels to produce the sound waveforms. Its system of drawbars allowed for setting volumes for specific sounds, and it provided vibrato-like effects. The drawbars allow the player to choose volume levels of 0 to 8 for each of the members of the harmonic series starting from 16. By emphasizing certain harmonics from the overtone series, desired sounds can be imitated. Generally, the older Hammond drawbar organs had only preamplifiers and were connected to an external, amplified speaker. The Leslie speaker, which rotates to create a distinctive tremolo, became the most popular. The three most popular models of Hammond organs were the consoles, the B3, C3, and A100. Inside all three models, the tone generators, drawbars, and keyboards were identical. The B3 cabinet stood on four legs, the C3 was an enclosed church model, and the A100 series had built-in amplifiers and speakers. In addition to these console models, 
Hammond also produced spinet models, which differed from the consoles in the size of keyboard and the absence of foldback and scaling in the keyboards making them cheaper to manufacture. Other features of the console organs such as vibrato or percussion were included in the spinets, all the spinet models featured a built-in amplifier and speaker, when used with the external amplified speaker they sound similar to the console models. These smaller all-in-one organs were intended primarily for use in homes or very small churches. Though originally produced to replace organs in the church, the Hammond organ, especially the Model B3, became popular in jazz, particularly soul jazz, and in gospel music. Since these were the roots of rock and roll, the Hammond organ became a part of the rock and roll sound. It was widely used in rock and popular music during the 1960s and 1970s by bands like Emerson, Lake and Palmer, Procol Harum, Santana and Deep Purple. Its popularity resurged in pop music around 2000, in part due to the availability of clone wheel organs that were light enough for one person to carry. In contrast to Hammond's electromechanical design, Allen Organ Company introduced the first totally electronic organ in 1938, based on the stable oscillator designed and patented by the company's founder, Jerome Markowitz. Allen continued to advance analog tone generation through the 1960s with additional patents. In 1971, in collaboration with North American Rockwell, Allen introduced the world's first commercially available digital musical instrument. The first Allen digital organ is now in the Smithsonian Institution. Frequency divider organs used oscillators instead of mechanical parts to make sound. These were even cheaper and more portable than the Hammond. They featured an ability to bend pitches. In the 1940s until the 1970s, small organs were sold that simplified traditional organ stops. These instruments can be considered the predecessor to modern portable keyboards as they included one-touch chords, rhythm and accompaniment devices, and other electronically assisted gadgets. Lowry was the leading manufacturer of this type of organs in the smaller instruments. In the 60s and 70s, a type of simple, portable electronic organ called the combo organ was popular, especially with pop, ska and rock bands, and was a signature sound in the pop music of the period, such as The Doors and Iron Butterfly. The most popular combo organs were manufactured by Farfisa and Vox. Con Selmer and Rogers, dominant in the market for larger instruments, also made electronic organs that used separate oscillators for each note rather than frequency dividers, giving them a richer sound closer to a pipe organ, due to the slight imperfections in tuning. Hybrids, starting in the early 20th century, incorporate a few ranks of pipes to produce some sounds, and use electronic circuits or digital samples for other sounds and to resolve borrowing collisions. Major manufacturers include Allen, Walker, Compton, Wix, Marshall and Ogletree, Phoenix, Macon Organs, Wyvern Organs, and Rogers. The development of the integrated circuit enabled another revolution in electronic keyboard instruments. Digital organs sold since the 1970s utilize additive synthesis, then sampling technology and physical modeling synthesis are also utilized to produce the sound. Virtual pipe organs use MIDI to access samples of real pipe organs stored on a computer, as opposed to digital organs that use DSP and processor hardware inside a console to produce the sounds or deliver the sound samples. Touchscreen monitors allows the user to control the virtual organ console, 
a traditional console and its physical stop and coupler controls is not required. In such a basic form, a virtual organ can be obtained at a much lower cost than other digital classical organs. Electronic Sound Art Mouth Played Instruments Notes The wind can also be created by using pressurized steam instead of air. The steam organ, or calliope, was invented in the United States in the 19th century. Calliopes usually have very loud and clean sound. Calliopes are used as outdoors instruments, and many have been built on wheeled platforms. The organ has had an important place in classical music, particularly since 1500. Spain's Antonio de Cabazon, the Netherlands' Jan Peters Zoan Svelink, and Italy's Girolamo Frescobaldi were three of the most important organist composers before 1650. Influenced in part by the latter two of these men, the North German school rose from the mid-17th century onwards to great prominence, with leading members of this school having included Buxtehude, Franz Tunder, George Bohm, and above all Johann Sebastian Bach whose contributions to organ music continue to reign supreme. During this time, the French classical school also flourished. François Coupera, Nicolas Lebug, André Raison, and Nicolas de Grigny were French organist composers of the period. Bach knew Grigny's organ output well, and admired it. In England, Handel was famous for his organ playing no less than for his composing, several of his organ concertos, intended for his own use, are still frequently performed. After Bach's death in 1750, the organ's prominence gradually shrank, as the instrument itself increasingly lost ground to the piano. Nevertheless, Felix Mendelssohn, César Frank, and the less famous A.P.F. Bully led, independently of one another, a resurgence of valuable organ writing during the 19th century. This resurgence, much of it informed by Bach's example, achieved particularly impressive things in France. Major names in French Romantic organ composition are Charles-Marie Vidor, Louis Vierne, Alexander Gilmont, Charles Tornmeyer, and Eugene Jigout. Of these, Vierne and Tornmeyer were Frank pupils. Late in the 19th century, Germany's Max Rieger began devoting a great deal of his compositional time to the organ. Rieger's output for the instrument owes much to the harmonic daring of Liszt and of Wagner. It ranges from miniatures to his more characteristic large-scale works such as the choral fantasias, symphonic fantasy, and fugue, fantasy and fugue on b.a.c.h and the introduction, variations, and fugue on an original theme. Despite the fact that Rieger was only in his 43rd year when he died in 1916, his contribution to the organ repertoire is probably second only to Bach's in terms of bulk. Fellow German Paul Hindemith produced three noteworthy organ sonatas and several works combining organ with chamber groups. Siegfried Kargelert, yet another German, specialized in smaller organ pieces, mostly chorale preludes, often of an extremely flamboyant type. Among French organist composers, Marcel Dupré, Maurice Durafel, and Olivier Messiaen made especially significant contributions to the 20th century organ repertoire. Some composers incorporated the instrument in symphonic works for its dramatic effect, notably Mahler, Holst, Elger, Scriabin, Respighi, and Richard Strauss. St. Sans S. Organ Symphony employs the organ more as an equitable orchestral instrument than for purely dramatic effect. Poulenc wrote the sole organ concerto since Handel's to have achieved mainstream popularity.
Because the organ has both manuals and pedals, organ music has come to be notated on three staves. The music played on the manuals is laid out like music for other keyboard instruments on the top two staves, and the music for the pedals is notated on the third stave or sometimes, to save space, added to the bottom of the second stave as was the early practice. To aid the eye in reading three staves at once, the bar lines are broken between the lowest two staves, the brace surrounds only the upper two staves. Because music racks are often built quite low to preserve sight lines over the console, organ music is usually published in oblong or landscape format. From their creation on radio in the 1930s to the times of television in the early 1970s, soap operas were perhaps the biggest users of organ music. Day in and day out, the melodramatic serials utilized the instrument in the background of scenes and in their opening and closing theme songs. Some of the best-known soap organists included Charles Paul, John Gart, and Paul Barranco. In the early 1970s, the organ was phased out in favor of more dramatic, full-blown orchestras, which in turn were replaced with more modern pop-style compositions. Church-style pipe organs are occasionally used in rock music. In some cases, groups have sought out the sound of the pipe organ, such as Tangerine Dream, and Arrogant Worms, which combined the distinctive sounds of electronic synthesizers and pipe organs when it recorded both music albums and videos in several cathedrals in Europe. Rick Wakeman of British progressive rock group Yes also used pipe organ to excellent effect in a number of the group's albums. Wakeman has also used pipe organ in his solo pieces such as Jane Seymour from The Six Wives of Henry VIII and Judas Iscariot from Criminal Record. Even more recently, he has recorded an entire album of organ pieces Rick Wakeman at Lincoln Cathedral. Likewise, Keith Emerson used a pipe organ with the nice and progressive rock group Emerson, Lake, and Palmer on their earlier albums on the songs The Three Fates, The Only Way and Promenade. George Duke employed the pipe organ in a flamboyant manner in the piece Fifty Fiftieths on the Frank Zappa album Overnight Sensation. Dennis DeYoung of American rock group Styx used the pipe organ at Chicago SST. James Cathedral on the song I'm OK. On the group's 1978 album Pieces of Eight. More recently, Arcade Fire have used a church organ on the song's intervention and My Body is a Cage on their second album Neon Bible. Muse have also used a church organ on their album Origin of Symmetry in the form of Megalomania, and also briefly in Unnatural Selection found on The Resistance, played by their frontman Matt Bellamy on both occasions. It has been performed live only once on a pipe organ, at the Royal Albert Hall. Roger Hodgson used a pipe organ for the songs Say Goodbye, Open the Door and Danielle in 2000 for the album Open the Door. Natalie Merchant from 10,000 Maniacs used a pipe organ for Hateful Hate, which appeared on the group's 1989 album Blind Man's Zoo. On the other hand, electronic organs and electromechanical organs such as the Hammond organ have an established role in a number of popular music genres, such as blues, jazz, gospel, and 1960s and 1970s rock music. Electronic and electromechanical organs were originally designed as lower-cost substitutes for pipe organs. Despite this intended role as a sacred music instrument, electronic and electromechanical organs' distinctive tone often modified with electronic effects such as vibrato, rotating Leslie speakers, and overdrive became an important part of the sound of popular music. Billy Preston and Iron Butterfly S. Doug Ingle have featured organ on popular recordings such as Let It Be and In A Gata Vida, respectively.
Well-known rock artists using the Hammond organ include Bob Dylan, Counting Crows, Pink Floyd, Hootie and the Blowfish, Sheryl Crow, Sly Stone, and Deep Purple. Recent performers of popular organ music include William Rowland of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma who is noted for his compositions of piano rags, which he plays on a Wurlitzer Theater organ in Miami, Oklahoma, George Wright whose Jealousy and Puttin' on the Ritz are some of the finest performances of this genre and Virgil Fox, who bridged both the classical and religious areas of music with pop and so-called heavy organ concerts that he played on an electronic organ accompanied by a light show. Similar to those created in the 1960s for rock concerts. Jimmy Smith was a famous jazz organist of the 20th century. The American Theatre Organ Society has been instrumental in programs to preserve the instruments originally installed in theatres for accompaniment of silent movies. In addition to local chapter events they hold an annual convention each year, highlighting performers and instruments in a specific locale. These instruments feature the tibia pipe family as their foundation stops and regular use of tremolence. They were usually equipped with mechanical percussion accessories, pianos, and other imitative sounds useful in creating movie sound accompaniments such as auto horns, doorbells, and bird whistles. In the United States and Canada, organ music is commonly associated with several sports, most notably baseball, basketball, and ice hockey. The baseball organ has been referred to as an accessory to the overall auditory experience of the ballpark. The first team to introduce an organ during breaks of play was the Chicago Cubs, who put an organ in Wrigley Field as an experiment in 1941 for two games. Ebbets Field, home of the Brooklyn Dodgers, hired baseball's first full-time organist, Gladys Gooding the following year, who eventually gained so much fame as to become the punchline of a joke, who played every game last year for the Dodgers without making an error. Over the years, many ballparks caught on to the trend, and many organists became well-known and associated with their parks or signature tunes, Eddie Layton playing at Yankee Stadium for over 50 years. Jane Jarvis greeting the New York Mets at Shea Stadium with their club song Meet the Mets, Ernie Hayes serenading a Bush Memorial Stadium crowd with Here Comes the King, Nancy Bea as the organist for the Dodgers, Chicago favorite Nancy Faust urging Chicago White Sox fans to tell an opposing pitcher or a home run to Nana Hey Hey or Rick DePiro playing for Cleveland Indians games in the 1980s and known for his youth and controversy, with songs like If I Only Had a Brain played often for the umpires. During the 1990s, several teams replaced their organists entirely with recorded music and sound effects. However, Many fans support organs at ballparks, believing it to be a traditional aspect of the game. As a result, several teams have begun to feature organ music more prominently, and in 2009 the Atlanta Braves reintroduced an organist at Turner Field, even going so far as to promote his Twitter feed to take requests from fans. Some organists include the electric organ, especially the Hammond B3, has occupied a significant role in jazz ever since Jimmy Smith made it popular in the 1950s. It can function as a replacement for both piano and bass in the standard jazz combo. The Hammond organ is the centerpiece of the organ trio, a small ensemble which typically includes an organist, a drummer, and a third instrumentalist. In the 20-hundreds, many performers use electronic or digital organs, called clone wheel organs, as they are much lighter and easier to transport than the heavy, bulky B3. Panpipes Hydraulis 
portative, positive, regal.